Hey everybody, and welcome to this channel update video. I want to say this is a, a update for September, but um, realistically, uh, I haven't done an update for quite some time actually. Um, I think one of the reasons why uh, was just because I wasn't quite sure coming back into it, what I was doing, where I wanted to go, my life's been up and down uh, this year as well, and um, so I didn't really focus on having many plans and just kind of uploaded videos as and when, you know, I wanted to do it basically. Um, but I thought I'd do this uh, update video for you guys. I'm going to try and keep it short. I have to keep it short because I've got something cooking in the oven and in 15 minutes it's going to be done. So, you know, this better be 15 minutes long is all I'm going to say or else my dinner's getting burnt. Um, <laughs> so uh, what I wanted to go through today with you guys was just a little bit of an update, I guess, um, on my life, on the channel's life, and where we're going to go forward from there, really. Um, so, obviously, at the beginning of the year, I had to take some time off, just because I was moving and changing job and everything like that. I then changed job, like, a second time as well, because the, the other job didn't... Well, it wasn't that it didn't work out. I just... It wasn't really what I wanted. Um, it was fine. But um, another job came up that was much better. I'm really enjoying that now. Really like the company I work for. Really like the people I work for. It's a lot smaller than than I'm used to, uh, company-wise. But that's really, really nice. Um, so I'm really happy there. Got a nice place to live. Really enjoy it. Everything's going great. Um, so that's all good. <laughs> I can't I can't complain, generally. Um in terms of the channel, as I said, I've kind of been a bit up and down with what I want to do, where I want to go, what videos I'm doing, what I want to focus on, how I want to focus on it, um, and really thinking about what I want to do. Uh, without doubt, YouTube's going through a funny period right now. Um, well, I think everything is, Twitch, YouTube, all of them, because it, it seems like we've got this kind of critical mass now where... Um, people are being more and more outrageous to to you know grab the headlines grab the views and it's putting more pressure on youtube so they're kind of cracking down on things and meanwhile there's you know millions of channels like mine who are just kind of quietly trying to you know get along and release content and you know hope that people enjoy it and you know there's that kind of small percentage who are who are just going nuts about things um and it sometimes it does make you think like do i want to continue to be on this channel do i want to continue to do this thing you know but you know for the for the time being i enjoy making the videos i enjoy uploading them um and we'll kind of see where we go from there really um it's not a monetary thing for me um in any way it's you know i make a little bit each month it's really not a huge amount um i have a job i'm fine um it's it's just about a hobby i enjoy really um there's been a lot of drama in the whole ASMR community recently regarding, you know, people charging and, and stuff like that and et cetera, et cetera. And, um, yeah, you know, I don't really have any opinion on it. <laughs> um, other than to say there are literally, there must be a million or so ASMR videos on YouTube now for people to watch. I've got over 2,000 for goodness sake. There must be a lot on the, on here. Maybe a hundred thousand, maybe not a million. That's a lot. But, um, yeah. Um, so where do, what do I want to do going forward well um, one of the things I, I always enjoyed doing was um, little off kind of so my channel I always started it as the, the, the thing I started my channel as way back in the day um, was I really enjoyed watching um, like ASMR gameplay videos on certain games and I I wanted to watch like longer series on it, you know, get involved in a longer series, longer videos as well, because sometimes they were quite short, and just kind of enjoy that and, and watch something and chill rather than the kind of screaming, you know, hyper like, you know, gaming videos, which, which I constantly see with constant cuts everywhere and all this malarkey. Um, there's a place for that, obviously. Um, people are doing very well. But I, I personally wanted something a bit different and I felt like there was a, a community out there who did or wanted just a different option sometimes, not every day. Um, and um, so I uh, made my channel. Now, 
I kind of feel like I strayed away from that a little bit in the last this year probably and and to be fair that's a lot to do with outside influences um I've kind of been trying to get back into it in a way I've have started some series and then stopped them you know out of wilds things like that where I just haven't really been able to get into something and, and kind of keep going on it done little one-off videos every now and then because I've just kind of been I think my channel's reflected my personal um gaming habits which has been to very much kind of like pick a little bit of this pick a little bit of that and and kind of go along and it's been a little bit um weird to say the least um in in the in so much as I haven't really known what I wanted to do. The only game which I've constantly um, have managed to uh, play and play consistently and for a long series is Skyrim. And uh, it's a weird one. It really is a weird one that that is the game that I constantly keep doing it. Um, but I'm kind of getting back into I don't want to say forcing myself but training myself would be a little bit more to kind of get back into it we've got a lot of games coming out in um, September October November you know the the crazy time of year as usual and um, yeah I want to kind of get back into it and, and get some series going and get something you know playing um, and not worry about views and cons- like yeah you know that type of thing and just it sounds weird because when you said oh, I don't care about views, it kind of means it's kind of like saying I don't care about my audience in a way, isn't it? Because you're like, well, the views will equal your audience, but it's not really the case. It's more a case of saying if you wanted to chase the views, you know, there are different things you'll do, and that doesn't necessarily make people happy. I don't think on your channel, it it just means that you're playing to the algorithms on YouTube a little bit more, and I kind of think like. I'm not really interested in that. I just kind of want to do my own thing and, and see where we're going and, and play the games I want to play and actually play through them. And, um, you know, I can't... I don't want to upload more than one video a day. Um, I don't want to go back to that. That was too much. Um, I've got other things to do, <laughs> honestly. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I do want to, you know, enjoy um, and, and have a good variety on my channel um, where we're going and that variety variety is gaming and non-gaming content as well um, on there so be things like you know the football um, I've done some kind of tech videos as well I've got some another tech ramble stuff like that um, you know and see see where we're going from there but also you know play through some games that I want to play and enjoy and whether they're long games or short games or whatever they are just kind of enjoy them on there not necessarily play things which i mean there's things which i know will be successful and will do well but they're not necessarily things i want to play so what do you do you know um it's a curse i guess uh but yeah so i guess probably you know to kind of clarify you know what i'm going to be doing control is a game which i am going to play all the way through i know that much um i've been really enjoying it I think it's a really good fun game. Um yeah, it's it's just it's just good. And um it's not that long either, so it's not going to be like a 100 episode thing, you know, it's probably going to be a 15 episode series something like that. Um and I'm enjoying it. It's got a great story, it's great fun. It's hitting those points for me. Um that that's important. Um Skyrim as well will obviously continue because I just really enjoy Skyrim <laughs> and playing it. Um, you yeah, so know, there's a couple of series there. Uh, in terms of other things coming, um, I am recording Destiny 2. You can kind of see that here. So that's the Forsaken expansion. Uh, I've done three videos so far. I'm really enjoying Destiny again and just playing through it. It's good fun. Um, another game which you can't see here is called Greedfall, which is very similar to like Dragon Age Inquisition. And um, I'm enjoying that so far. Kind of playing through that. So I'm kind of going to... I I might release that I might not I'm playing through it and I'm really enjoying it I've recorded two videos on it played about two hours of the game really enjoyed it I haven't quite got out the tutorial yet <laughs> so I want once we get into the I don't want to upload the videos if I get into the actual game and I'm like ah you know what this might not be for me um so I'm going to hold off 
releasing it probably until I've done that. But I probably will do that by tomorrow anyway, so it, it's irrelevant. But I'm just saying, like, if it doesn't go up, it's just because I got to the past tutorial and went, uh, yeah, it might not be for me. Um, I've got some more Google Earth videos coming um, as well, which I enjoy doing. We're going to continue with the kind of truck videos as well. We should have another expansion this year, but I'm not sure when. I think it's going to be a Euro truck one. They announced it, and it was going to be the Black Sea or something like that, I think. So going down towards like Romania and into Turkey, actually, I think. So that's quite cool. Some stuff which is going to be finishing. So No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky I really like, but it just... <sighs> I've played a lot of it, and I've played a lot of it on camera and recorded a lot of episodes, and I can appreciate that beyond... It's got new stuff going for it and stuff like that. But for me, it gets a bit grindy once you get to a certain point. And um, I'm not down for grindiness, uh, to be completely honest with you, um, on there. So, yeah, uh, that might not be going. Um, Bard's Tale, I'm, I'm also considering playing through. But I might play that as a kind of Patreon series. But we'll see. I want to get a couple of series going on there um, for some other games as well. We'll talk about that in a bit. But let's have a look at what. I want to play kind of coming out as well um, so I guess well we're in September we should have a look at September so um, not going to play Monster Hunter um, again the grindiness of it was was too much um, Gears 5 I can't pretend I'm really into the series that much it looks cool it's had some good reviews uh, Greedfall as I said is something which I am playing and, and we're considering doing a series on I'm just waiting a little bit um, Borderlands 3. Um, Borderlands 3, uh, I saw a terrible review from PC Gamer. I gave it like 60 something percent, and I was like, oof, that's pretty shocking. Um, and uh, it kind of put me off a little bit. I've seen some other, there's some sort of controversies around reviews and things like that, and I'm. I really think I'm going to wait a little bit on that game and might not jump into it um, for other reasons as well. But I just don't know if that... I like the Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1, but something about it is just... I don't know, it's just saying to me that there's there's something wrong there. Um, it looks very nice, but mm, we'll see. So I'm not too sure about Borderlands 3. Um, going down, Link's, uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on Switch. I'm probably going to play this, but I'm a little undecided on... Um, whether or not to pick up a Switch again. So I used to own a Switch. I sold it because there just wasn't any games I wanted to play on it. Um, and now we're getting back into some games I want to play, but there is and isn't games I want to play, so I, I don't know. Um, I'll hold off a little bit before deciding on that. Um, going down here, there's not that much else I really want to play. The Surge 2 looks interesting, but I don't know if that's going to be something for me um, personally there. FIFA 20 we'll wait and see uh i love the fifa games you know they're terrible and awful you know but there's just something compelling about them because i love football basically so we'll see on that one um destiny 2 shadow keep i'm playing through forsaken and i'm kind of falling in love again with destiny because it's just a lot of fun the gameplay is so much fun and forsaken seems pretty decent so far um but I think they need to do something good with Shadow Keep here. It's going moving over to Steam, which doesn't bother me in the slightest, but we'll see. Um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I played the beta of. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm going to kind of wait and see about some more reviews. I only played a couple of hours of the game, to be fair. Played very much like Wildlands, with a little bit of Destiny, uh, Destiny Division 2 like mixed in there. And I really like Division 2, really, really like Division 2. Um, so we'll see kind of about that um, on there. It could be something I, I stream. I'm thinking of getting back into streaming. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that might be suited more for that uh, type of thing. Um, in terms of other kind of big games, there's always little games coming out which I might pick up and play and, and do bits with. But, you know, other than that, there's not a huge much else that I'm really like. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. Uh, Outer Worlds, I'll have a look at definitely. I'm not as on the hype train as much as some other people are, but um, it looks okay. Yeah. Um, you know, Obsidian make fantastic games um, generally. 
um, they know how to do writing and I one of the things I love about video games is the story so um, I'm very excited to see um, kind of what that is we'll see as to whether or not it actually lives up to that hype it, you never know well, you never know um, but yeah very interested in it anyway so if, it, if it's pretty decent I'll, I'll definitely play Outer Worlds uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 if I get decide to get a Switch that's on the radar as well Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I love those games. I'll definitely get that. Um, uh, Planet Zoo is one that's definitely on the radar. I really like Planet Coaster. Uh, Planet Zoo looks really interesting. And I think it would be something nice and different from the kind of games which are coming out at that point. So I'd be very interested in uh, seeing that. Uh, Death Stranding is definite. I'm very excited for this game. It's probably the game I'm most excited for this year. Um, the trailers have, have, have been incredible. Just from a um, like story point of view, I'm just like, I really want to know what's going on in this world. It looks so interesting. I really enjoyed Metal Gear Solid Five. I think it was. I can't say that I'm big into that series or anything like that, but I enjoyed what I played of Metal Gear Solid, which was about 25, 30 hours of it. I didn't finish it, um, but it had really great features in it. It was fun to play. It was really interesting. I really liked it. Death Stranding, I really hope, is really good. Um, you know, it'd be the first PlayStation game I've played in a long time, probably since Spider-Man, actually, to be honest with you. My uh, dinner is uh, nearly cooked, so I'm actually just going to go turn my oven off. I'll be back in one sec. <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. Okay, the oven is off. I knew I wouldn't be able to do 15 minutes on this. I knew it. I don't know why I thought I could. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, there's, as I said, there's, there's lots of interesting games coming out. The, the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I was very off on that when I saw the demo. And then they kind of explained that actually it is going to be a bit more like, say, Old Republic, where there's different worlds you go to and which one you go to first will affect the story on others and stuff like that. So I was like, hmm, okay, seems interesting. Uh, the Pokemon games, you know, uh, I picked up the Pokemon Yellow, was it, or whatever it was that came out on Switch, and I just flat out didn't like it. I, uh, I like Pokemon, like I like the idea of it, just don't know if I like the games very much, so I don't think I'll be playing that, even though everyone will be, but there you go. That's one of those games where I'm like, I know it would do well, I just don't really want to play it. <laughs> Um, Shenmue 3, a lot of people seem to be hyped for that but I've, I've, I haven't played any of the series so I have no idea Doom Eternal uh, didn't really like Doom that much I'm really sorry, I, when I played it I was like, I can appreciate why people like this it's a good game, it's just not for me that's it, I'm not saying it's a bad game and um, I guess that kind of takes us into the year I don't feel like we have that big blockbuster um like September, October, November that we've had in, in, in past years. There's not that, um, you know, one big or two big games which is just dwarfing everybody else, you know, Red Dead or, um, you know, a Fallout or, you know, something like that, which is like, oh, that right there is, is you know, and that's good in a way. <laughs> like sometimes you need time off. You know, next year is going to be crazy with the um, cyberpunks and, you know, things like that, you know, and that you know i i can't wait to play games like that on the um on uh on my channel you know like a cyberpunk or something like that it will be incredible i think it'll be so much fun i i often said like one of the things i regret is not starting my channel sooner because i love would love to have been there when skyrim first came out playing that for the first time on the channel stuff like that and i feel like um i missed out on red dead because um you know i had to stop and I'm gutted about that. I truly am. I would love to have played through that story on camera. But I feel like Cyberpunk is the next big one that I'm like, ooh, yeah. Maybe a little bit of Death Stranding because I'm looking forward to it. But I don't think that has the wide-ranging appeal that, um, you know, a Cyberpunk or something like that has, a Red Dead, you know, has there. So I think we, we have a quieter year this year. Um, again, I can't play everything. So, you know, there are going to be some things which... Um, I'm going to have to, and I'm not saying this from your point of view to say, oh, you'll be disappointed, but from my point of view, um, 
I uh, have to pull myself, rein myself back in. <laughs> you know, and just because a game is has got a really good score or something like that, it might not necessarily be for me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so in, in terms of my kind of channel, as I said, um, uh, things like Minecraft. I'm actually put. I am going to get back into Minecraft, but I'm putting on hold until we get the RTX update because I've got an RTX card now, and I'm really looking forward to jumping back into that. Um, Hearthstone. I haven't felt an urge to play Fallout 76. They haven't done enough to get me back into that game. Um, yeah. So um, we'll see. I think. <laughs> Uh, you might see a little one-off little video every now and then if I decide to record something as I'm playing it. But I think probably what I'm going to focus on a little bit over the next few weeks is getting up those, uh, getting through the, the kind of Destiny expansion before Shadow Keep, and then making a decision on whether or not I'll play Shadow Keep. Control um, will obviously be in there. The football videos will be up. You know, we'll see a little bit more on this. We got more Skyrim videos to come um, as well, um, which is was a lot of fun to play. Um, and then I'll take a decision on, on kind of a couple of other things we're going, but I probably want to keep it down to about maybe four different series. And then that allows me to, to float a couple of one-offs in there if I want, and maybe put up five to six videos a week, um, on there and maybe even leave some time to stream something because, um, that would be really good fun. Um, it wouldn't be an update if I didn't try and plug some things. So, you know, I have a Patreon page which is available. Thank you very much to the three patrons who are on there. Your support is, is it's really nice to be honest with you. Um, it's always lovely when people actually uh, choose to donate and go that far. Um, I don't do it as much as I probably should. Um, I am a patron for a few different um, uh, uh, channels or not necessarily channels, but like you know people or things or whatever um, on there. But, um, you know, people are rightly uh, picky with their money nowadays, and that's totally fine. I've always said that kind of one of the best ways to support people on YouTube is actually to pick up um, YouTube Premium, as weird as it sounds, because um, YouTubers make a lot more off that than they do off just normal um, watching ads and stuff like that. And you don't have to watch ads. Um, but obviously how people choose to spend their money is their own thing um so i will be doing some patreon series um going up there um and i may even be hitting um a stream just kind of for patrons as well which would be pretty cool uh to do on there as well so um keep an eye out for that type of stuff um i'm also going to be having you'll be able to check the description in this video and there's going to be a lot of uh stuff a lot of video links because I have loads of videos that I never got around to uploading so if you're wondering where the rest of my Fallout 76 videos are they're all here I just haven't released them because I was like I, I took some time off on the channel and I had all these videos already uploaded so yeah I have no idea what even half these videos are there's a couple of Assassin's Creed Odyssey ones there might even be some on here that I don't, I didn't put up because I might have said something that I didn't think was appropriate. I have like four Assassin's Creed. I have a, a well, I haven't actually already had a Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, yeah, I have a vampire. So I'm gonna have loads of Fallout Four. Uh, in some older Destiny Two stuff, Football Manager stuff. I'm just gonna link all of this in the description if you want to watch it. I'm going to put it in a playlist as well, just saying like, I'm not even going to change the titles on the videos, so apologies for that, because I'm not going to do anything with them other than make them um, unlisted so they won't appear on my channel, and then I'll put them in a playlist saying stuff I never got around to uploading. If you want to watch it, watch it. That is a ton of stuff here. Um, yeah, so enjoy, <laughs> I guess. Um and of course, always, like, if you do have suggestions of what you want me to play, you, you can suggest, you know. Um, I, I do genuinely read things and look at stuff, and if someone suggests a game I don't know about, I'll always take the time to go and look it up or, you know, do it. Just, I might not play it, and don't take that as a, a personal thing. It's just people have different tastes and, and, and what they do. There's a lot of video games out there currently, and, you know, the urge to play Skyrim is a constant thing with me. <laughs> So I have to balance that off. But um, yeah, you know, we'll we'll kind of see how it goes and, and what we do. 
you know, as I said, I want to get back more to the reason I started my channel, what I wanted to do, and try and put the noise of, of YouTube and that type of thing to one side and just carry on doing what I do. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that and, you know, see what we're doing there. So, as always, thank you for watching. It's um, always appreciated. Um, and um, I'll see you soon.